Member House of Representative Lekon Abejide, representing Yagba East Federal Constituency in a report, has condemned the act of Minister of Labor, Chris Ngige. The lawmaker said that the minister has trespassed the right accord to him by acting alone without obeying presidential directives. He said that the insincent and arbitrary breach of presidential directive by the suspension of the top management and executive committee members was a flagrant disrespect for the rule of law. We have noted that the Honorable Minister violated in later, dated 3 July 2020, signed by him, purportedly conflicted the directive of Mr. President to suspend from office the entire management of the NSITF. He said that all ministers and head of agencies and any other officers in singular supervisory positions are enjoined to adhere strictly to lay down directive by the President. It is already concluded that no minister is institutionally empowered, according to the circular by the Presidency, to remove the executive of the agency like what the Minister of Labor did. Mr. Speaker, I don't know why our ministers of Labor are prone to self-inflicting injuries. Yesterday was Kiamo, today is Ingige, just in the course of discharging their responsibilities. I think there's a problem there. Mr. Speaker, there is a saying that if you want to know everything, follow where the money is. So I think this House should follow where the money is in respect of this uh, NSITF issue. Resolve 
not took a decision to dissolve the executive and management committee. Surprised that a ministry such with responsibility of mediating in labor matters and solving labor issues on behalf of government and people of Liberia can flagrantly disobey the labor procedures of government. It is the natural disposition of the executive and management committee of employees compensation fund, thereby democratizing the purpose and essence of establishment of fund, particularly in this COVID era. Confirm that no minister is procedurally empowered to remove the executive of any agency under any guise, including suspension by the honorable minister, Senator Dr. Chirisi, who was present in the In this case, in this case, for the plan itself to restore authority, no less fascism, authoritarianism, totalitarianism, and not become a minister in a banana republic. This is not a political procedure that I do. Thereby, stating the procedure as approved by the president. He has gone the other way. What is that is the non government disobedience of President ID as we represent here with the action of the Honorable Minister of Labor for Not 50? He is an under the power, leave room for potential breaches of lay down rules and against lay down procedures. They are making the government look more serious before the general public. While speaking in the House, a member of the Senate in his report spoke on the actions of the Minister of Labor and that of Festus Kayamo, Minister of State, Labor and Employment. The lawmaker in his words said, the Minister of Labor are prone to self-inflicting injuries. He also retreated that if you want to know everything, you should follow where the money is. This is coming as a result of the clash between the two ministries and the House. Our press conferences, they are about 10 to 15 percent reserved for them. Yes, I've said it openly. So, what do they need more than that? Uh, but the point is that they want to control the program. They want to control it. And I have said, no. Yeah, except no, except no. Mr. President says, I should leave it. I will leave it. But they cannot control the program. I repeat, they cannot control the program. 
they cannot. But they can investigate it. They can investigate it. And I'm ready to be coming here every day to explain what I have done. But they cannot control the program. Why Thank did you, you not apologize to them? Because I did not see. You were all there. You were all there. Did I send this derogatory? I only insisted the cameras must be there. There's nothing to apologize for that because the constitution says expose corruption. You can't expose corruption behind the public. Thank you so much. What I said is constitutional. What I said is constitutional. They say their powers are exposed. You can't expose in camera. In camera, that is it's behind closed doors. You must say it before the members of the public. Okay. I am more for more transparency. They are saying they should close door. <laughs> they say I should apologize for that. No. <laughs> <laughs>